10,000 books that could take kids out of it. They just threw us back right in. Just threw us back right in. Oh, God, what I would do. Librarian Alia no longer has a library. It and the rest of the American International School of Gaza are no more. Israeli aircraft bombed the school at 2 in the morning on the 3rd of January, destroying it. I am not angry. I am beyond. Let me tell you something. I am beyond. Eight years. This is a school that's been up here for eight years, making a difference. You know what it means to make a difference? People tell you you can, but you know, one person is more than enough. And that's what you learn, and that's what you teach. One kid getting out, making something. Well, I've got 20 kids out, and I could have had more. And this is what they do. Why? Give me one good reason why this happened. Israeli officials say they're looking into the circumstances of the school's destruction. In the past, Palestinian militants have fired rockets at Israel from around the school, and we don't know whether Hamas fighters occupied the school after the Israeli offensive began. But school director Rib Salem, an American citizen, insists rockets have never been fired from inside the grounds. I challenge them to give me one piece of evidence, one single piece of evidence that this school has ever been used to launch rockets. No. The U.S. consulate in Jerusalem told CNN, quote, We're very upset and very sorry to hear about the destruction of the American school in Gaza, end quote. No protest, however, was filed with the Israeli government. I visited the school a year ago. Like Gaza, it has seen its fair share of problems. Staff kidnapped, militants had fired grenades into classrooms at night. But it was a lively, happy place. Its student body, a mix of children from well-off families and others on scholarships, including from the U.S. government. It was the only school in Gaza to use a strictly American curriculum and was partially funded by U.S. tax dollars. And now staff and students are asking why their school was destroyed. To be honest with you, I, I have no other explanation than this. The Israelis do not want anything good in Gaza. They don't want anything excellent, anything bright in Gaza. They want Gaza to live in the Middle Ages. School records are now scattered in the rubble. Past transgressions don't seem so important anymore. What is this, a warning? Suspension? <laughs> Senior Abir Obeid's dreams now on hold. I've missed two deadlines for two universities I wanted to apply to because of this war. And I don't know if I'm going to even get my diploma this year. It's not just a school, it's our houses, our future, our hopes and our hearts. And now their school and everything else is shattered into a million pieces. Ben Wiedemann, CNN, Beit Lahia, Gaza.